If you wanna be building high quality custom websites for your clients, you'll definitely be using custom typography and fonts on the website that you use. In this video, I'll explore the different options that you have and what is the pros and cons between them. Everybody, what's up and welcome to another segment of Weapon of Choice where I share some of the tips and tricks and tools that I use as a designer when doing my job. Today I want to discuss the different options you have when embedding different fonts. I will be covering three options. So the first one is basically buying custom fonts and embedding them in the website. Second one is using Google fonts and the third one is using Adobe's type kit. So let's jump into the computer and see what are the different options. So basically this is you work for them, which is basically my favorite website for buying fonts. And usually when you choose a font, um, you'll be able to go into buying options, especially here and buy them as web fonts. When you'll buy a web font, you'll get them in several, um, several different formats of fonts based on, you know, you need a few options if you want them to be compatible with all browsers. And then what you have to do is basically embed them. So you'll be need to um, add this kind of a code that loads up this file. And as you can see, you're loading WOFF and, and true type font and SVG, you're loading up all these different formats, and then you'll be able to use them with your CSS. Now, the, the pros and cons of this is pro you can find the best font specifically in whatever font that you want you'll probably be able to buy it as a web font so you can really get as custom as it can be um, the pro the con of using this method is first of all um, unless you're using webflow which i'll show later on you'll have to upload them and host them and load them with code it might be a little bummer because if you don't have a really fast hosting um, that might kind of slow down your website and another thing might be the cost so most of these websites like i showed you and the way that font web font licensing work is that they usually charge you based on how many page views you have and for some of the clients that i work with that had big big websites with lots of traffic the fonts actually became pretty expensive so that's one thing that you want to um you know balance whether you want the very specific font that you need for to create the brand and you know the, the great look versus the, the the possibility that it's going to be a bit expensive sometimes that's even a yearly um a yearly fee that you have to pay so check out the licensing it might be complicated again it depends on what font you're buying but it, it, it might go there. Um, the second option is Google Fonts. Google Fonts, the good thing about Google Fonts is that it's free. They have a good variety of fonts. Um, when you choose one of them, you can just embed it like this and you don't even have to host it. Um, you can just call it from the Google Fonts, um, which you know you know that it's it's fast and, and good and you don't even have to host it yourself so that's that's a good thing. The, the pro I would say is because it's free um, and that the, the selection is not huge a lot of people are using them so they become kind of like you see them everywhere so it might kind of hurt the the ability to create something that's really unique that's really different from what's out there so those are the the things that you might want to balance out when thinking about should i be using google fonts or not the last option is actually my favorite one and that is adobe type kit so if you have the adobe um, creative cloud subscription which i think most people have because they're using you know xd photoshop whatever um, you get this for free and this is access to a, a very big variety of fonts high quality fonts and basically you can just you know you can just embed them um, basically for free so you do add to a web project and actually um, they'll just give you a code here the embed code and again it's hosted by adobe they're not limiting you i just saw you know i they used to also limit you give you kind of a free cap of how many page view but i just saw in the in the pop-up um which didn't reproduce itself right now that they kind of removed this uh, cap so you can use it for whatever page views or traffic source that you'll have and 
it feels like free to me you know, because, because I'm already paying the subscription. A lot of times I can get premium, very, very premium fonts uh, here. I actually use, I'll show you in a minute, this is my personal website. Um, this is my personal website. I'm using Futura, which is you know a classic font, which is embedded from here from Typekit for free. So this is really, really a good alternative. Um, I also use it sometimes for client websites, which is something that you need to consider because when you'll be transferring the ownership of the website, they'll still be dependent on your, you know, creative cloud subscription. So you might want to think about this. Um, should they get their own license? Should be, they still be using your uh, license? But I did that with uh, multiple clients and it worked well for me. So, you know, not a huge problem, but again, this is something that you need to consider. So basically, as I showed you, um, this is this is my personal website, which is built on Webflow. And in Webflow, if you go to the project settings here, you have here the fonts uh, section. And basically what you can do here is you can either load whatever Google font you want just from this list. So it's as simple as that. Um, specifically, I loaded here play for display and you can choose only which kind of like weight you want to be loaded. So the website does not is not really slow down. You can just upload fonts. So if you bought here, um, if you bought the, the fonts and you get all the files, the different files um, variations, you can just upload it from here. And if you're using the Adobe fonts, you can just paste here the Adobe API key. For, specifically for me, it's already inside. So as you can see, I have multiple kind of like website that I created um, using the Adobe, um, the Adobe type kit. And I'm actually using this one, you see runcycle.com at Futura. So all of these methods are available here and it's really, really simple. As I said, my favorite one at the moment is Adobe Typekit just because I get the selection to really high quality fonts and it's free for me. Um, but basically, when you're building a website with Webflow, you can generally use each one of them. So consider which uh, alternative works best for you. It also depends obviously on the client, on the scenario. So I might choose different you know, different strategy based on the website that I'm working with. But I'll generally, personally, I'll start with Typekit just because I know it's my favorite and I'll see if I can find the right font over there. If I can, I might, you know, go to a different alternative, but usually I'll start my process looking there. Hope this was helpful for you guys. Have an awesome week and I'll see you tomorrow.